Grade 6 Math, number 7.6. Problem Solving, Choosing an Appropriate Graph. When we do word problems, we need to choose a strategy. We need to either work backwards, solve a simpler problem, choose an operation or a model, use a formula, or draw a diagram. And graphs are diagrams. You need to be able to know which diagram is the correct one to choose for your word problem. And it might tell you you need to make a graph, but which one do you make? So, if we're going to choose a circle graph, like Emma wanted to graph her vegetable gardens because 25% were tomatoes, 25% were beans, 40% was corn, and 10% was carrots, she could do this. If a city clerk wanted to graph the types of traffic accidents that occurred at an, a certain intersection, she could use this if she had the percentages of the types of accidents. So when we have percentages, a circle graph is a good way to go. You could choose a histogram. Bob wanted to graph the ages of people taking the driver's test for the first time to get their driver's license. See, it was mostly young people. Some older people were getting their driver's license for the first time, but very few compared to the young people, see? Or a college advisor wanted to graph students' ages to see roughly what the ages were of the students at the college. So when you have large data, and you're grouping hundreds or thousands or many, a histogram is a good way to go. A stem and leaf plot is good when you want to compare specific da data, like a teacher wanted to graph test scores to see how her students were doing, or a nurse wanted to graph specific weights of child patients to see how their weights were compared to each other. Okay, so that's comparing specific data. You could choose a double line graph or a double bar graph. A salesman person wanted to graph which items sold better for specific months to compare them. Or a husband and wife wanted to graph their joint weight loss to compare it to each other. So when we want to compare two items of data, a double line graph or a double bar graph is good. Whichever one you choose, remember when you're doing word problems to underline the important facts, organize your information, choose a strategy, and then check to make sure that we really answered the question that was asked. You have to think to yourself, what information do we need? What information do we need to use? And how will we use the information? You want to underline the important information, choose your strategy, make sure you answer the question, okay? So, now you can choose which graph would be appropriate for your word problem, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.